If you're stuck on creating a launch marketing strategy, then you definitely want to watch this video. Stay tuned. Hustle Babes, I'm Chanel the Brand Hustler, and this is a channel for all of my hustle babes who are interested in gaining insight on the entrepreneur journey while learning essential marketing and business tips for their brand. If that sounds like you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the Hustle Babe community. In today's video, I am going to be talking to you about how you create a launch marketing strategy in just 30 minutes. And so when I say create a launch marketing strategy, I don't mean execute this launch marketing strategy in 30 minutes and just launch, right? What I mean is you're gonna be able to map out your launch marketing strategy. And then over the next few weeks, you can actually take the time to build it out into a full strategy. And then after that, take the time to actually execute that strategy. So that way, when you launch, you can score sales on your very first day, throughout the first week, throughout your first month, and throughout your first year in business. So if you are excited for that, go ahead and leave a comment down below letting me know why you are excited to learn about a launch strategy today. Okay, so in today's video, I am going to be sharing a couple of things with you. I'm going to be sharing with you, obviously, how you can map out your launch marketing strategy in about 30 minutes. And I'm also going to be sharing with you the three stages of your launch and why it's important for you to go through those three stages of your launch. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video so that I can share all of this goodness with you. The first things first, let's talk about the three stages of your launch strategy. So like I said earlier in the video, although we're gonna be working on mapping out our launch strategy within 30 minutes or so, we don't wanna create a launch marketing strategy that we execute over a few minutes or even over just a few days. In my opinion, a launch strategy should go over the course of three months. Now, that's not saying that you have to withhold from launching for the entire three months. I actually have it broken down where each month pretty much represents a step within your launch strategy. So for example, month one is your stage one, and that is your pre-launch. And so within your pre-launch period, that is where your doors are closed, but you're kind of generating anticipation, you're generating excitement within your audience for your actual launch. So within your pre-launch stage, you're doing things such as building your email list, sending out automated emails about you know your brand and when you intend on launching and things like that. You're creating content that teases your audience about the products that you're gonna release or telling them about the problem that you're gonna solve. You're really building brand awareness while generating excitement within your pre-launch stage. The second stage is your actual live launch stage. So this is the stage where you wanna open up the doors of your business, but the goal within this stage is to generate as much traffic as you can to your website so that way you can pay attention to the behaviors of your audience. Obviously, we wanna score some sales during your live and launch stage, uh, but I believe that with those sales, it's important for you to have a way that you're collecting that data and actually try to pump as much traffic as you can so that way you can learn about the behaviors of your audience once they come to your website or you know, whatever your landing page may be, right? And so pretty much what you do is you kind of use the hype that you've built within the pre-launch stage to get the people to come to your website during that live and launch stage. In addition to doing other things as well within your live and launch stage, but the pre-launch stage really does help pump traffic prematurely to your live and launch stage without you necessarily having to put forth a lot of effort, which is the reason why you want to do a pre-launch in the first place. And then you have the third and final stage, which is your post-launch stage. And so this is within month three, and pretty much you take the data that you got from month two, which was your live and launch stage, and you learn what worked, learn what didn't, you learn certain behaviors, and you make certain decisions from that data to be able to then make tweaks, adjustments, things like that to your actual strategy so that you can continue on with business. So pretty much those are your three stages of your launch. You have pre-launch, your live and launch, and then you have your post-launch. 
Each of them are equally important. Like I said, pre-launch really does generate that excitement and builds that brand awareness for you. Live and launch pretty much gets you sales, but also pumps the traffic needed so that you can collect the data, which you go ahead and interpret within your post-launch phase and then tweak so that you can elevate your strategy. When it comes to those three stages of your launch plan, there are a couple of things that you want to make sure that you include in that launch strategy plan. And there are a couple of things that you wanna make sure you do. So that is how I am going to kind of segue into the second part of the video where I am going to talk to you about how you can really map out your launch strategy plan within about 30 minutes or so. Now, obviously it depends on how fast you brainstorm, how fast you come up with creative ideas and things like that. It may take you a little bit longer, um, but I just say 30 minutes because generally, like literally I can kind of sit down and kind of map out a launch within 30 minutes and then I take the time to build out the launch um, afterwards. Right. And so if you're interested in like hearing like my thought process behind how I create a launch strategy and how I execute a launch strategy, you definitely want to check out um, the video that I'm going to put somewhere on the screen where I recently shared how I um, had an $11,000 launch um, earlier this year. So I put that video somewhere on the screen so that you can listen to it. I kind of talk through it really raw, kind of uncut and explain like my step by step thought and actions behind that launch. So check that video out. But anyway, let's get into how you can map out a launch strategy within a short period of time. The first thing that you want to do when it comes to mapping out a launch strategy is you want to set launch goals. Launch goals are super important because without goals, you really don't know where it is that you're headed. You really have no real kind of metric to compare yourself against or to aim for or shoot for Without goals, it's kind of like you're walking down a path with no destination, to be completely honest. So I always tell um, all of my business owners, all of my soon-to-be business owners, to set goals. It doesn't matter how small you think you they are. It doesn't matter, you know, like, it really doesn't matter. You want to just make sure that you set launch goals. And when it comes to setting launch goals... It is a little bit difficult because you really don't have anything to base it off of being that you haven't been an active business at all. And so there's certain ways that you can actually set goals. You can look at industry standards or there's ways that you can calculate certain things. So one of the things that I tell people to pay attention to when it comes to launch goals is like the pricing of their products, um, how much they spent on inventory, like things like that. And you really get to the nitty gritty to be able to see like how much you need to make in order to continue on with business, et cetera, et cetera. And you're able to set like, for example, sales goals from that, or you're able to set, okay, um, you know, engagement goals from that and things like that. So a couple of goals that you want to make sure you set when it comes to your launch is you want to set your sales goals, obviously your social engagement goals, your website traffic goals. And you also want to set your email list growth goals. Those are like some of the most important goals to set when it comes to your launch because you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to all areas and not just your sales because obviously there are other areas that affect your sales. For you to get the end result of a sale, you have to do certain things leading up to that, which is why you wanna make sure you set goals in several different areas. Now, the second thing that you wanna do when it comes to mapping out your launch strategy plan is you want to create a plan by mapping out your GST chart. Now I have a video on GST, so I'll put that up here on the screen where I go on my dry erase board and kind of break down what it is. But pretty much GST stands for goals, strategies, and tactics. So goals are kind of like your high level kind of uh, achievement that you wanna reach. And then you have strategies, which is you know the way that you wanna achieve them. And your tactics are the things that kind of build out your strategies. So. When it comes to mapping out GST, it gives you an action plan within your, like to be able to reach your goals. So instead of just setting a goal and saying, oh, I wanna make $1,000 during launch week, mapping out your GST chart gives you an actionable plan. It helps you to kind of brainstorm strategies that you need to execute in order to reach that goal. And then what do you need to do to make sure that that strategy can successfully happen? So do you need to hire a copywriter? Do you need to um, create a series of text messages? 
what tactics need to happen within that strategy to make sure that that strategy happens. So definitely check out that GST video because it goes super in detail. Can't really go in detail in this video unless we'll be here for hours, but definitely check out that video. And then the last thing that you wanna do when it comes to mapping out a launch strategy plan like fairly quickly is you want to create an action plan for each platform that you plan on using. So when I say platform, I'm talking specifically about social media platform. You don't want to just subject yourself only to Instagram. You want to really pay attention to your audience or study your audience. And there's ways that you can study your audience before you launch. There are certain websites that you can go to to research your audience. For example, one of my favorites is Think with Google. Another one is Pew Research. And you can go to these websites and research certain things about your target audience to be able to kind of make decisions, right? You can literally research what type of platforms that they're usually on. So whether that's Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, wherever, you wanna make sure that you kind of create a list of platforms that you know your audience is on. And for the top platforms that there are on, you wanna create an action plan for them. Whether that means you're going on all of these platforms like in an incremental type of basis where, okay, you go on the top platform right now and then after you reach to a certain stage in business, you'll, you'll start the second platform. Whatever that action plan is, you want to create that. Not only that, but for each specific platform, you want to create a content strategy as well. So each platform is different. There's a different algorithm. There's a different content type. Even though short video kind of goes across the board, there's still like... Every platform has kind of like its own sauce, its own swag. So you want to make sure that you take the time to actually study that platform, invest in classes, coaching or whatever it is to make sure that you learn what you need to learn about that platform to be able to pull together a good content strategy for that particular platform and have all of those strategies kind of working together side by side for your benefit. So pretty much once you've done that, once you've set your launch goals, mapped out your GST and created an action plan for all the platforms that you plan on using, you pretty much have mapped out a launch strategy plan literally in like 30 minutes or so, right? And so you wanna take this plan that you have mapped out and actually put some action behind it to start actually building these this plan out detail by detail and then go ahead and execute this plan. And so that is why I created the ultimate launch course. And so I want to tell you a little bit more about the ultimate launch course. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a special announcement right here. Introducing my ultimate launch course. This is a step-by-step -step program that I created for aspiring entrepreneurs like yourself and those with failed launches to help teach you how to execute a revenue generating launch strategy in 90 days or less. My strategies are strategies that I've been teaching for years to clients that have had people make $1,000 in a day, that have had people blow their launch goal out of the water by three times as much, and that have had people making $3,000 within a week. If you want results like this when it comes to your launch, then you definitely want to make sure that you check out the ultimate launch course because I have filled it with a ton of of helpful modules. We talk about everything from strengthening your business idea, building your brand's unique edge, building your email list, creating hype and excitement on social media. We talk about developing email campaigns, setting goals, studying your analytics, and much more in this jam-packed 10 modules course. Not only that, but at the end of this course, you will leave knowing how to execute your very own launch marketing strategy plan. You'll know how to build anticipation and hype for your launch. You'll know what goals you have for your launch and how you are actually going to achieve them. And then you are also going to know the tools that it takes to actually create a bulletproof brand. And for those that have launched and failed, you'll be able to identify off the bat what you did wrong and correct those wrongs throughout the launch course. Now, the ultimate launch course is open for enrollment for just a few days. And so if you sign up within 72 hours, you're going to receive access to a bonus bundle called the Hustler Starter Pack. This is equipped with legal classes on how to get your seller's permit, your business license, EIN, and more. It also has some in-depth Shopify tutorials. It has a vendor registration class and even a vendor starter list for those who don't know what vendors they want to use. And if you pay in full for the ultimate launch course, you actually are going to get 
10 value packed modules that are included in the course, but you'll also get monthly Q&A and audit sessions as well. So in the course, you get the 10 modules, easy to use worksheets, bonus replay sessions that I have from other classes I've taught. And then if you pay in full, you get monthly Q&A and audit sessions with an audit session is me looking over your work. Now, all of this is valued at well over $2,000. And honestly, I've had people say that it's worth over $5,000, but I have made it a very easy investment for you. So if you pay in full, it is only $5.97, or you can sign up for the payment plan option, which is three payments of $2.35. Remember that the pay in full option does grant you an additional uh, line of access to me, which is the three monthly Q&A sessions and audit sessions. So if you are in the launch stage, or if you launched before and failed at your launch and you want to learn the right things to do, you definitely want to make sure that you sign up for the ultimate launch course so that you can get results like some of my past clients who closed out the day with 500 in sales, consistent $300 and $500 days, making sales even before they announced their launch, and much, much more. So I hope to see you in the ultimate launch course. And so... Now that you guys have seen the special announcement, make sure that you go ahead and sign up for the ultimate launch course. The link is going to be in my description box. You definitely want to get in there before doors close, but the ultimate launch course is the perfect way to actually build out your full launch marketing strategy and execute it while you are going through the course. So definitely check that out. The link is in my description box. I want you to also comment down below. What is one thing that you learned from today's video so that I can go ahead and chat it up with you in the comment section. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, share it with someone that you know it can help. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, go ahead and hit the subscription button because if you didn't know, this week is actually a launch marathon. So I'm dropping a launch related video every single day of the week. So make sure that you check out yesterday's video, okay? It's gonna be on the screen afterwards. So check out yesterday's video and check out all the other videos that I mentioned in today's video and definitely go ahead and sign up for the ultimate launch course. If you are not following me on Instagram, follow me at The Brand Hustler. You can also follow me on TikTok. And other than that, I'm going to see y'all later, hustle babes. Bye.